The size of the lung nodule uh, matters in when we consider the risk of uh, uh, lung cancer in that nodule. For example, if the size is less than six millimeter, the chances of that spot being malignant is less than one in a thousand. However, if the nodule increases to eight millimeter or more, the risk becomes uh, more at that point. Um, it is basically because most of the benign uh, conditions will not lead to large lung nodules. Typically, 5 to 10 percent of lung nodules can be cancerous. However, this number can change depending on the risk of the, of the population. For example, if, uh, if we only consider the patients who have had a very long history of smoking, then the risk of these nodules being cancerous can be as high as 20 to 25 percent, versus in a more general population with a mix of both smoking and non-smoking um, patients, uh, this may be lesser. This may be about 5 to 10 percent then. So benign nodules don't usually uh, turn malignant, but sometimes the nodule, the reason behind a nodule is not clear, and those nodules are called indeterminate nodules. It's important to follow these nodules uh, long enough so that uh, in case we see any suspicious signs of it being malignant, we can act on it quickly.